that is P A L P A L stand for programmable array logic. So firstly, I will briefly explain the structure of programmable array logic. As we know, in PLDs at and at input side we use AND array and at output side we are using OR array. So हम यहाँ पे क्या लिखेंगे? AND array. and array for input side and for output side we use or array okay? but in case of PAL remember and array is programmable means user can connect the fuse or disconnect the fuse as per requirement but or array is fixed or array is fixed. Okay. This is inputs. This side outputs. These two blocks are interconnected. This is the basic configuration of programmable array logic in which input array is programmable but output array is fixed. Now I will describe, I will explain this topic with an example. Question. question is the following is the truth table of three input four output combinational circuit means in this circuit there is three inputs x y z and four outputs a b c d okay and hame karna kya hai tabulate the p a l programming table for the circuit and mark the fuse okay so hame first of all isme do cheeze form karni hai first is programming table then second in circuit diagram. So what is the step 1? Step 1 we first find out. Karenge. Step 1. Firstly we find out the boolean function. Boolean function. Then output function. Boolean function for output. Then we form the step 2. We form the programming table. Programming table then step 3 is the last logic diagram now uh, for simple city I am going to write the equivalent decimal value for this binary number this is 0 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7. These are the combinations. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we find the function for all outputs. First function for A. A is equal to summation M. 1, 2, 4 and 6. Means A is the function of 1, 2, 4 and 6. Now what is the function for B? B is equal to summation M 0, 1, 3, 6, 7. 0, 1, 3, 6, 7. Now, what is the function for C? C is equal to summation M 1, 2, 1, 2. 3, 4, 6, 7. Okay. Now, last D is summation M. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 5 and 7. 5 and 7. Okay. These are the functions. Now we get the all four boolean function for the given question. Now table is not required so I am going to erase. We will draw the k map so that we get the boolean function, soft function for all. Okay, what do we need? Soft function. So first k map for A. K map for A. There was three inputs means ki three variable k map is required. Three variable k map. Okay. 
at this axis I have taken x at this axis yz x bar x y bar z bar y bar z y z y z bar now map these values 1 2 4 and 6 these are the values now try to simplify this first pair which possible ho hai, this is to a is equal to from this column y z bar plus back to back from this row what we get x column se use with first and last what is the common value from first and last column that is z bar one mean term is left it cannot be combined with any one so we will directly nick denge. for this row is x bar column is y bar z bar y bar z bar this is the equation for output function a now for b c d now kmap for b b values for b 0 1 3 6 and 7 these are the values first pair second pair and third pair okay now value for this b is equal to row se hame kya mil raha hai x bar x bar what is the common value from these two columns that is y bar plus for this combination yz plus what we get here from this is the combination rho se x what is the common value from these two columns is y so b ke expression kya ho gai? x bar y bar plus yz plus xy now came up for c c ke liye 1 2 4 6 and 7 ok now I can erase this because this is not required now. C is equal to first pair is this. So what we get? Kya mila hai se? Yz bar from this column. One pair back to back. Okay? Back to back kya means ki rho se me kya mila x. What is the common value from these two columns? First and last. Z bar. Then plus one more pair is possible. This pair is this one. What is the value for this row? Se hame kya milega? X. What we get from the columns? Y is the common value. Plus one mean term is left alone. So is ke liye kya likhenge? X bar, Y bar, Z. Okay. Now you can check. This term was available in A. This term is also available in A. And this term is also available in A. Means ki C can be written as C is equal to A plus extra term kya tha? XY, XY. So this is the expression for C. C is equal to A plus XY. Now K map for D. What is the value of mean term for D? 1, 2, 3, 5 and 7. Means ki one quad is possible here. This quad. D is equal to. Kya milega is quad ke liye? Row, row se cancel. And these two columns are used. What is the common value in this column is Z plus one pair is also possible. This one. Kya milega iske liye? From row x bar from column y. These are the four equations for A, for B, for C and for D. Now I will draw the programming table which was required for this question. Now next step. Now I am going to tabulate the programming table for the given function. These are the function which we have got from the KMAP. Okay? So now start the programming table. First term is the product product term. Second is inputs. 
three inputs was there x y z last is the output output now i am going to tabulate programming table for the given question these are the output function which we have find from the k map after solving the boolean function using k map now first product term for function a is this one is the first second and third so first is the y z bar second one is the x z bar third one is the x bar y bar z so these are the combination for output a a is equal to y z bar plus x z bar plus x bar y bar z now how we can write the values here x is missing so we put dash mark for absent variable y is without bar means ki this is true value we put 1 z is with bar means ki we put complement this is complement so for complement we put 0 x is 1 y is absent z is bar means 0 Again, x is bar means zero, y is bar means zero, z is one. This is the first. Now, for third product term, fourth product term B, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So fourth is x bar, y bar. You can see the function of B, x bar, y bar can be written as zero, zero dash. Next is y, z. X is missing dash. Y is one, z is one. Third term is x y x is one y is one z is missing that's why dash mark. These are the product for b b is equal to x bar y bar plus y z plus x y. Now third function. Now uh, now for the output function c you can see here there is a plus x y and a is the first output. So we add one more column. In you can add in front or you can add in back side. This is a. Okay. So first term is a. So a is available for C means C one. Rest is dash. For next term is x y this one. X y dash one one dash. ये क्या हो गया? This is the function for C. A plus x y. Now last output function B. B has first product term is z. Next product term is x bar y. For z we can write dash 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 one. For x bar dash x bar means x की रूम में हम क्या put करेंगे zero. Y is true value means कि y is one. Z is absent means test. We have added one extra column a, so we put dash for in front of every product term because this is not used or involved in these function. Now final function b is equal to z plus x bar y. This is the final programming table for given question using P A L. Now last and final step is the fuse connection for P A L. I have taken four inputs x y z a already discussed. Uh, at uh, at this point we get x and here we get the complement true value complement value of y true value and complement value of z true value and complement value of a bar. Now how many and gates are required for every function? So we see the uh, prom programming table. Number of maximum product term was three for function A for function B. You can see from here also one two three one two three. इन दो में क्या है टू प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स हैं तो वी इन पी ए एल इनपुट एंड एरे इज प्रोग्रामेबल बट आउटपुट और एरे इज फिक्स्ड तो फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट टर्म इन विच फंक्शन इज अवेलेबल तो वन टू थ्री ए में भी थ्री है बी में भी थ्री है सी में टू एंड डी में टू तो वी विल यूज थ्री एंड गेट फॉर ऑल आउटपुट फंक्शन वन टू I have taken three for A, three for B, three for C, three for D. All will be fixed or array. 
is this is collected this output is a output of this is b output of this is c output of this is d all four function okay now this is a hame a kaha mil raha hai from this this a will be connected to this line this is for a now connections inputs of and gate Yes. Now, a fuse connections. First product term is Y Z bar. Second is X Z bar. Third is X bar, Y bar, Z. Y Z bar, X Z bar, X Z bar, X bar, Y bar, Z. This is done for A. For B, output is x bar, y bar, y z and x y. So x bar, y bar, y z, x y. This is for B. Now for C, first term is A, second term is x y. There is no third product term means ki this and gate is not used. So we put cross for here. There is no connection for this. For A, A is this row. A for X, X and Y. Done. Now for D. D have two product term Z and X bar, Y bar. Third and gate is not used means ki we put cross here. For Z, Z will be fuse connection kaha hoga at this point. For X, Y bar, fuse connection kaha hoga. X bar is this point. Y bar is this point. This is the final fuse map for PLA for the given question. Please remember the number of AND gate depends on the maximum product term of the function. This function will maximum product term hoga. Vahi aapke fixed number of AND gate use karenge with all functions. Chai wo use ho. If AND gate is not used, to we put cross, cross for that particular AND gate. Thank you so much.